When I was 14, I was out jogging on a back road. My boyfriend drove up behind me and hollered out of his truck window. He said, you better run faster than that or you're going to be fat. From that day forward, I became bulimic. I was determined to stay under 104 pounds. From there, it was a downward spiral. Bulimia is a lonely addiction, so I turned to alcohol just to socialize. After a few years of partying, I became pregnant. During my pregnancy, I was able to stop drinking, but my addiction to bulimia continued to control my life. Once Carly, my daughter, was born, I immediately went back to drinking. Carly was born healthy, but at the age of two, she developed ulcerative colitis. Even her illness couldn't stop me from drinking. At the age of four, Carly passed away from her health complications. At that point, I gave up on life and my life spiraled out of control. I lost my house, I lost my job. When the liquor store was closed, I would drink rubbing alcohol and hand sanitizer to avoid the seizures that I would get from alcohol withdrawals. I had multiple DUIs, I would wake up in random places, and one day I woke up in a mental institution. The cycle continued for years. I became pregnant a second time. Again, I was able to stop drinking, but I continued to throw up the entire pregnancy. The day after my son was born, I started drinking again to numb the loss of my daughter. Shortly after that, the state took my son. I knew that it was time to get help. I couldn't do it on my own. I began a faith-based treatment program. I knew that I could stay sober from alcohol, but I wasn't able to hide my bulimia from all those women. Two days in, I fell to my knees in front of a cross and I begged God to make it stop. I gave him my life. I surrendered everything to him and he instantly delivered me from my addictions. Psalms 103.12 says, God cast my rebellious acts as far as the east is from the west. 